Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy TV3 Shay here. We're back at it with another YouTube video and today we're gonna be playing some Monster Hunter World and we're gonna be learning about farming. Alright, let's get right into it. So first off, we're gonna show y'all our managing item setup. So we are using Mega Potions, Bait Bugs, Farcaster, Arona Bait, Goldfish Bait, Power Charm, Power Talon, Armor Charm, oh, and the Armor Talon, if I can get to it. Haha! <laughs> And whatever coatings you're using, if you're using a bow and ammos. Alright. The equipment that we will be using is the Seracoil Vendor, the Geomancy Charm. The reason why we have a Geomancy Charm is because it has Forger's Luck and Detector. Basically, it marks rare sites of like ones that ha give you a lot of items out of a certain drop in the map. And it also increases the likelihood of rare gathering points respawning. Meaning, if you already grab it, it'll respawn again, which is good. Alright, and then we have the Shadow Shades and Full Set Xenojiva. Alright, the reason why we have this is because 2, 2, 2, and 2. And Shadow Shades is 3. Okay? Um, decorations. So, we're running 2 Vit Jewels, 4 Botany, 3 Geology. One hunger, two hungerless, and uh, another vitality jewel. So that's our that's our jewel setup. Let you copy that for a second. All right, now let's get right into it. So that is our equipment. I will see y'all soon. In a second, we are gonna go right on to the next part. We are gonna be in the Rotten Vale. And we're gonna learn some new secrets. If we get in a battle, we'll forward past it real quick. But yeah, let's get right into it. All right, guys, and we are back. So let's go get right into it. But first, let's go eat real quick. We're gonna pay with points, even though I always say no, you shouldn't do that. All right, let's go to uh, yeah. Let's get four green beers. The reason why we choose four green beers is because we're gonna be farming points. Yes, farming points. All right, so we're just gonna do two random vegetables because that usually gives the best chance of getting it. Oh, we didn't get it. All right, well, as I was saying though, um, you get feline exchanger for four green beers and that increases your points by 1.2. All right, so let's get right into it. So see right here, we're gonna get three herbs just because of our decorations we had. Now, if that was stars on it, white stars, we would've got more. Alright guys, I always fail this, but let's capture them. Oh, <gasps> I got a Bursarona. That is amazing. That is legit awesome. Okay, so we're going to get this blaze nut. And if you see, we get 21 of those, man. Imagine smoke nuts. Okay, so here we are. This right here is what we're looking for on the map. Are these little stars. And having that bracelet on gives you more. You see how that was gold right there? If I can get it, mine. Come on. Come on. It's not going to do it. Okay. But you see where it's gold right there? Right there. Yeah. In that green area. Okay? Those are what we're looking for. So, like, right there. You see how it's gold? It's sparkly? Those have the most items in it. So let's go to two. Right here, there's a Mandragora that's sparkling. We're actually going to get that later on when we go back, okay? Um, ooh, we need to get those toadstools too. But that's what we're farming, okay? And if you notice... No! No! You shall die. Okay, I feel a lot better now. Alright, so see, it also works for bugs, you get two bugs. Every time. Let's get those mandragores real quick. Wanna grab those, um, herbs? Always grab everything. We're not gonna go in the Odor Garen's Lair, cause it'll take too much time grabbing, going through the little vines and all that. It's kind of annoying. Alright, so we're gonna grab... Eh, let's go ahead and grab the Crimson Fruit. So, by grabbing this Crimson Fruit, you get four. Well, you actually get eight of them. So you gotta remember, it says times two, which is 68 points each, okay? 
That's why you go, go at the end of your game and you see you get a lot of points all the time. Especially if you have this armor and stuff. It increases that number. Bam. So we probably what got about 200, 300 points right there. GG, right? Let's get that dragon fell berry. Alright, so remember what I said about those stars? Looky there. Glow a glow. Alright, so here's the reason why we have our baits. Oh, oh. When you don't know how to use a fishing pole. Bam. So let's catch us a goldfish. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you see those carrier ants? Oh my goodness. Okay, they always give you good items, like see Great Gyro Skill Plus. Where did they go? I think I scared it. Oh, well, let's catch these real quick. Did y'all see that little tiny one? Let's just throw it over here to see if we can catch it real quick. Come on. Come on. Be a good little fishy. Nope. Alright, we're just going to grab this one, and then we're going to go on to the next. Oh, oh, we're missing stuff. Oh, also, it does count for mining areas, too. The mining outcrops give you four times. So, Dragonite, Carbolite, Dragonite, Dragonite. See? Same thing with the bone piles. It gives an extra... It's really handy, especially if you find it's the ones with the stars on it. You can almost always get rare bones, which is like the warped in the quality in Dragon Bone Relics. And did I mention it works on bugs too? So those flash bugs, man, you don't have to wait to, wait to cultivate them. You can get them right now. There we go. Three Dragonite, one Carbolite. Oh, nothing on our moss wine. Sad face. That's okay. Um, let's jump down. All right, let's go see if our friendly ancient is there. How much you want to bet he's not there? Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, just three regular. You see that waterfall over there? You see where my marker is? Way over there. Every time I walk by, I think it's him because of that that rock right there where my fishing pole is and I move back and forth and all I see is this thing slivering away and I'm like what in the heck alright another place you can check sometimes is over here to the left but that's it alright guys so again we're gonna use a far caster let's go away bam Let's go get that Mandragora real quick. Any time now. Alright guys, so we are going to get that Mandragora. And see the stars? Told you. Look at that. Three of them. Alright. Alright, let's jump down here. Whee! Alright. So, now that we're back in Central Camp... Let's go drop these items off, and um, there we go. Just all you have to do is click on your loadout, and it automatically puts all your items in. Alright, so that will be my video for the day, guys. This was Farming Tips with Shade, and I hope you liked the video. Please hit the little like button. Let's try to get up to at least 100 likes. And... Subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification so you can see when I'm up and running on my videos when you see a new video It'll come right up post on my Twitter when I make a new video and If you follow me on Instagram and on twitch at tb3 shade, that'd be awesome, too And my Twitter is at tb3 x shade x all right guys Thank you for all your support and keep on doing what you got to keep on doing to keep moving all right peace out
Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand.